anyways, moving on from Andrew Wiggins, um, we have a guy who, if it wasn't for a certain fiasco this off season, probably wouldn't even be starting next year because he lost his starting role last year. We have Buddy Heald. He still put up good numbers, but he's getting less and less valued on that Sacramento team. So Buddy Heald coming in at number 11 ahead of Andrew Wiggins. He, he could be even higher healed, but it just seemed like Sacramento doesn't value what he does. Yeah, I mean, it seems like no one values what he does. Um, I mean, he was originally drafted by the Pelicans, if I'm not mistaken. Yep. And they got, they, were, they bailed on him pretty quickly. Um, even when he was drafted, it was a guy who in college was one of the best scorers, not just of his year, but I believe that we've seen in recent memory. And still, he fell pretty hard in the draft. I believe he was even outside the top five. Um, so it's a guy who, like you said, doesn't ever seem to get as much value as he feels he should um, and it's probably because a lot like Wiggins his really only good capacity is his ability to score um, I, I just find he's a more efficient scorer than Andrew Wiggins um, and I also personally had him higher because obviously like you said he now again gets his starting role um, so he's probably going to put up close to 20 a game this year and I'm obviously assuming Wiggins might have another a year so we'll see but overall I would if I if a better player, I would probably say Wiggins is still a better player than Brendan Heald. I would agree. And you're right, and he's going to be probably be a better. He's going to be a bigger part of that Sacramento team, right? He's going, and that team is up and coming. That team's looking better and better every year. Um, we keep forgetting how many good young players they have between Bagley, Fox, Heald. Heald's not old. He'll be 28 next year. If anything, that should be his prime year. There's no reason why he should regress. He put up 20 regularly last two years, and you're saying that like you had him even higher and I had him lower. That's why he dropped down to this. I didn't have him that low. I had him 13th. I still really good. I still really highly valued. For me, it was just because of the, the drama that was put in place in Sacramento last year. I think, does it, do I think he deserves to be close to the top 10? Yes. Hell. Um, if Sacramento has a winning year next year and they're a playoff team, I'm, I'm giving him probably in the top 10. He's probably going to move ahead of one or two guys. But for now, he comes in number 11. He's still a very good ranking, still a very good player. He probably thinks, just like Wiggins, that he is a top 10 player at his position. And I think it's just going to give him a little fire next year that they did bench him last year. And, and uh, they're going to regret well, – they're not going to regret doing that. They're probably going to be happy they did that because he's probably going to do even better next year. Yeah, and it's really just a matter of him finding consistency throughout the year where I know he's already – like, he was already a 20-point-per-game guy through, essentially throughout the year with 19 points per game, and I believe he has hit 20 previously as well. Um, but there was a lot of months where, for example, he would go 22 one month, and then he's down to 17, then he's back up to 21, and then he's down to... Like, there was just the inconsistency month, month over month with Buddy Heald, where the number ended up, again, at around 20, but it wasn't there year, like month after month. Where, like, but the talent is there. He can do it. And I definitely heard him, like you said, where he wasn't starting by the end of the season. Now he gets it back. So that's where, of course, post also break, he was 15 points per game. Obviously it hurts you when you're not starting. But with that being said, too, like Tyrese Callie Burton, they just get drafted by them. If they are really just like don't value Buddy Heald, like we say, who knows? They could go with the deal trade of Callie Burton backcourt exactly. Just give up on a guy who basically, like we said. But it's hard because I don't think I don't think a lot of teams value him. No, it's just like I guess I like we just have him so high because we know how efficient he can be scoring as well, not just this year, but career like over his career he's a guy who consistently seems to hit the three his free throws whatever it may be very well um and that's a guy too when it, if they do make the playoffs who you could rely on because you know when it is a big moment at the end of the game whether you have a guy clutching it with free throws he has the confidence to take the shot exactly so i would be surprised if at some point let's say they do make the playoffs if and if you see a highlight of buddy Heald hit, hitting a game winner and that's what a lot of people remember when you do make ranking lists is those big moments and i feel like buddy Heald is more confident than andrew wiggins to take them but if we just go to a, I'll, I'll say that yeah but to say but i agree that if we were to say the potential if you lived up to your full potential who is the better player, Andrew Wiggins. And I guess, again, the low rating is really to try to put a fire under guys like that because you yeah. know what they could do, and that's what makes it upsetting. I don't think Buddy Heald could do much more than he does, and I know Andrew Wiggins could do a lot more than he did, especially what he showed at the end of the year in Golden State. Um, so that's why I had him lower. But yeah, Buddy Heald, again, efficient scorer. Good, he's just really good for the shooting guard position. That's what he is to me. He's a true shooting guard. That, that's what he does, right? He does, he does that well. He does his job well. He does what he's asked. And um, but last year there was such 
rift between the chemistry and that team. I just hope that they can gel back together. I do see that as one of the uh, up and comers coming together just because they have a trio of very good young players and they have other players in that team that are very, very good as well. So I think that team's really up and coming if they can get the chemistry aspect down pat. And if Heald is one of those guys where he's just a troublemaker or he just causes drama in some kind of way of reforming if he doesn't mean it, and he'll he's going to play himself out of that team. And I think he's it's a great position for him to be on that team. So I just hope that they can kind of gel a little bit, like get that chemistry up, and then I can see Heald being consistently at this level year over year over year. Yeah, and he is a good rebounder too, top 10 in reboundings. And just another quick fact before um, I guess we end, because that is our number 11. Um, we'll move to yep. our top 10 um, in a previous, in a, in an upcoming video. Um, but a fun fact for Buddy Heal is he, um, in February, played 11 games. He had 2.1 free throw attempts, actually at 95% of them. So, I mean, if you have a guy over a playoff series who is hitting... Great shooter. Yeah, if you get at 95% of his free throws, again, in a seven-game playoff series, like, that's something that has a lot of value that you don't tend to look at until you actually look deeper. But if you need, like I said, if you need a guy to win Doc. the game, I'm more confident in heel than Wiggins still. Yep, and on, on a Sacramento team, it's a toss-up between him and Fox. Uh, they're both great players, so I can I can definitely keep them at this level right now. I would have thought Wiggins would have been ranked a little bit higher, um, but it is what it is, and uh, we can't just be biased because we're Canadian. Absolutely. But as I mentioned, that is going to be all for now. That was number 11. We're going to come back with more rankings, 10 to 1 shooting guard. Go to Got it. Quickly. Um, we're also point guard coming out. Season start quick. Season preview is going to come. Oh, the next two weeks are getting exciting. Here we go. Let's take it. So please do subscribe. We're seeing a quick jump. We're almost up to 50. I'd love to get to 100. Comment. By the time you see this video, this will be at 100 because you will be part of it. Subscribe today. There you go. Nothing in, nothing in it for you, just more content, so please do. You got it. Have more content. More subscribers, more content. Let's go, guys. Exactly. Have a good one.